的。I traveled to Syria for the third time in January 2020, traveling all across the country. I've made vlogs about my previous visits, but there was something different about this trip.、Um, this time, I'm with a group. We've got like six people with us. Super excited! You guys, you guys, ready to get to Syria? Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. See you on the other side. We started organizing group tours to Syria. Showing people another side to this beautiful, yet tragedy-hit country. And this is the phenomenal view. In this vlog, I'll be focusing on our day trip to Basra Ashshah, an ancient town in Syria's southern Dura governorate. We left Damascus by driving south. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't the best, but we enjoyed ourselves with the music. Entering Dura Province, we began to notice more destruction around us. Many of the buildings appeared to be uninhabited. In 2018, a reconciliation agreement was struck here between the militants and the Syrian government, ensuring that the entire area came under government control, albeit with many former rebels remaining in the area. Hello, Wasallala. Daraj, Wasrasha. Walking up towards the ancient amphitheater, we could feel a sense of antiquity. Roman statues and mosaics lined the pathway. The weather felt freezing cold, though, encouraging one of us to do some push-ups. We're going to push up and do some push-ups. So、um, we just got to the top of the amphitheater in Basra Sham, and this is the phenomenal view. The Roman amphitheater is said to have been built in the second century AD, during the reign of Emperor Trajan. Although it was first built solely for entertainment and sporting purposes, the amphitheater was later enclosed by a fortress, which can be seen at the back. This fortress was built by the Islamic Ayyubid dynasty, making it an interesting blend of Roman and Islamic architecture. So,、um, after exploring the amphitheater,、um, we've noticed that there are a few、um, small signs of damage. Um, which were inflicted as a result of the war.、Uh, there are、um, bullet holes in、um, some parts of the amphitheater,、uh, as well as like、um, some destroyed steps on the amphitheater where mortars landed. I think there's one over there that you can see. But、um, all in all,、uh, it seems very well preserved,、um, more so than I expected. Perhaps、um, there's very little damage.、Um, If you compare a place like this to Palmyra, it's it's there is no comparison basically. We then left the amphitheater, walking to a beautifully designed restaurant located nearby, where a delicious meal had been prepared for us, known as mansaf. It's made of lamb cooked in a sauce of fermented dried yogurt, and it was delicious. Mansaf is the national food of neighboring Jordan. Although the way they make it in southern Syria is slightly different, we then wandered through the old town of Basra, as seen from above here. Well, some of us wandered; others decided to do this. Yeah,、right, guys, <laughs> a horse ride in Basra Sham. <laughs> So right now behind us is、um, a water reservoir which was built by the Romans, and supposedly、um, during the time、uh, it was the largest water reservoir in the world. And、uh, even though、uh, there isn't that much water in it right now, 
You can definitely imagine it being filled to its capacity. Although there's nothing on the scale of the amphitheatre, the old town of Bosra is still filled with architectural and historical wonders. There are Nabataean and Roman monuments, as well as old churches and mosques. The effects of the war, though, were ever-present. Here, you can see some writing saying Khatr al-Mawt, Qannas, translating to Danger of Death, Sniper, indicating a tragic recent past. But it wasn't limited to that. You could also see the damage on the buildings, with old souvenir shops and restaurants now being abandoned. It used to be a restaurant. Hopefully, someday, more tourists will start to return and the rebuilding process will accelerate. Despite an eerie feeling due to the knowledge of recent violence, wandering through these ancient alleyways still felt magical. We spent around 30 minutes here before returning to the rendezvous point. With only a couple of hours left before sunset, it was time to head back to Damascus. So, we got back on our minibus and drove back through the Dara countryside. If you'd like to join one of our trips to Syria, be sure to check out my website, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on your notifications, and make sure you're following me on Instagram. More vlogs and more trips will be coming soon.